Texas law enforcement agencies are working to combat drunk driving as the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration states a new law is set to take effect on September 1st. Andrea, what will this new law change? The Texas Department of Transportation states that the Bentley law will require intoxication manslaughter convicts to pay for the financial needs of a victim's child. It was November 12th, 2000. It was a Sunday night and my mother and I were headed home from church. So we only had a stop sign um, and he disregarded that and um, crashed into the front driver quarter of our vehicle and my mother died instantly on the scene. House Bill 393, or the Bentley Law, states those charged with intoxication manslaughter will be required to pay child support until the child is 18 years of age or they graduate high school. Sarate says if the Bentley Law had been in place at the time of her accident, her father would not have struggled financially. I was four at the time, and then my dad raised me on his own. There was a financial burden on him um, because he had lost his livelihood and then now had to be more expending more monies to raise me. Mothers Against Drunk Driving in Edinburgh provides victims with assistance such as emotional support and guidance for those affected by DWI accidents. Program specialist for MAD and South Texas affiliate Maura E. Torres lists a few consequences of drunk driving. If you get arrested, then that becomes a, a, a record, a criminal record in your background. When employers are looking and let's say you graduate, there goes your career. Edinburgh Police Department traffic investigator Armando Celedon has worked with several fatal accidents in his 20-year career. It's not easy waking up a person in the middle of the night or the day and letting them know that their family member has been killed uh, due to an intoxicated driver. Lieutenant Gabriel Bella Reina says if you witness an intoxicated person getting inside a vehicle, get the description and license plate. We do not really want you guys to engage them as far as uh, you know, trying to do something yourself and force something yourself. Edinburgh is a no-refusal city, meaning that if drivers do not agree to a breath test, the police then obtain a blood warrant to get the driver's intoxication level. The law will take effect beginning next month. For KBAQ-TV in Edinburgh, Andrea Flores.